Hi, my name is Yvonne Corlin. Join me in appreciating the majestic beauty and fascinating culture that makes great reasons to visit Ireland. My work as a director and producer brings me on fun adventures in gorgeous places where I always meet fabulous people. I love sharing the stories of my experiences. This trip features a week in Munster, starting with County Kerry. Dunlow Dunahoo from the Gap of Dunlow Boat Tours took me on the boating adventure that leaves Rocks Castle for the Three Lakes of Killarney. One of the oldest boating tours in Ireland. It's over 250 years old, so it's amazing. Like We used to have wooden boats, now we switched to fiberglass. The tour is still just as good, if not better. <laughs> 14 miles through the National Park, three lakes, two rivers. We'll bring you all the way to the side of the Purple Mountain. They're sitting in the background with the clouds on top of it. This is the biggest lake that we have at the moment, or city in at the moment. It's Loch Lean, Lake of Learning or Lake of Teaching. 63 metres deep roughly, you know, five miles by three miles. You know, once you go out and swing left there around the corner, everything is there for you. You're looking up at everything as a different perspective. And then if you go to Ladies View or any of the mountains, you look around, it's, you know, you're looking back at it again from a different angle. So it's, it's a brilliant way to see the, the National Park. It's the stories as well as the boat trip that really makes this experience unmissable. I'm the fifth generation to do the tour and I'm the only one at the road. Like, you know, all my dad and my uncles prior to me rode it. I'm the, I'm the only one not to. So it's, it's really cool. Like, you know, it's, it's handy that it's passed down from generation to generation. Incredible for people though to, to turn up to the castle if they haven't been here before as well and then have this full experience. Oh, it's an amazing place. And some locals have never done the tour. Like, you know, so it's, it's mind blowing as well, you know. Yeah. They've all been to Australia or somewhere, but they haven't been five minutes down the road. <laughs> <laughs> After 90 minutes of laughter on the Gap of Dunlow boat tour, I went sightseeing in Killarney National Park, visited the famous Muckers House and the stunning Tork Waterfall. That evening, I had a delicious dinner with Eileen Finucane in Kitty's Seafood Bar and Grill, Killarney. I know that there's a Kitty O'Shea's in Kinsale. That's right. It's... And we know each other from there, but Kitty O'Shea's in Killarney, in Kerry. It's stunning. I mean, Thank who you. was the interior designer? I did it myself. I took into account the surroundings of beautiful Killarney. I went to Diggor, I went all over. So everything was originally Kerry based. They all tell a story. If someone asks me about where did you get that, I know exactly where everything came from. My head chef, Michelle, he's been associated with me and worked with me for 12 years. Oh, wow. Michelle is actually from Mauritius. He said he puts his own Mauritian twist to all the dishes. Kevin actually makes the bread. The restaurant manager makes yes, the bread? Yeah. <laughs> he amazing. loves making the soda bread. We're one big happy family and that's what makes us work. It's my passion. It is. I love serving people. I love making them happy. Making them have the best night that they've ever had, the best meal that they've ever had. That's what I aim to do. That was the end of a fabulous first day in Killarney. The next morning was Ballybunion, famous for stunning cliffs, sandy beaches and surfing. But I'm exploring a new experience for me at Ballybunion Golf Club. So would you recommend this as a place to learn for someone like me who's never played but keeps thinking about it? We've got two courses here. As you can see across the road, we're developing our new driving range with teaching bays and new target greens. So that will actually help any beginner and it's a good social scene. I would encourage anyone to take up the game. I started playing golf at 14 when I became a member here and my whole life was when am I going to get back to playing golf in Belly Bunyan? So the opportunity came up to be the manager here so then I said well why not try and marry the two passions. So and what's the size of the membership? We've two and a half thousand people are members yeah. in Belly Bunyan with 700 overseas members. Tell us about some of the famous people that have come here. No, none so more famous than Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods who visited here last month. It was a thrill for the visitors over here in the day to be asked to step aside for Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods <laughs> to come to play through. So I suppose that will just highlight like, the attraction of Belly Bunyan when of all the courses in the region the Tiger and Rory will pick Belly Bunyan to come and play. An 80 minute scenic drive from Belly Bunyan brought me to Dingle for lunch with me hall at the fish box. I love the story behind this place. My great-grandfather was a fisherman, my grandfather was a fisherman, my father was a fisherman and now my eldest brother is a fisherman and my mom is a, is a chef and my dad is a fisherman. We've just mashed them together here. So that what we have is we're using the fish from the trawler and we're combining that with the best of the local produce and it's here on the Dingle Peninsula. 
to try and create something special. So I think that story alone is, is worth giving uh, the fish box a chance. <laughs> yeah, I agree, absolutely. Dingle is about the people always, and heritage, and history, and Dingle is just a really, really special place. Um, and I think the people who go travelling, they found they came here with and form some sort of special piece of the relationship. I just think the Dingle has a bit of magic. For a once in a lifetime trip to Kerry, I recommend you take a look at the beautiful jewellery of Brian de Stack for the perfect once in a millennium keepsake. I was delighted to speak with local legends Maraid and Brian. It's a beautiful place. It's one of the most beautiful parts of the world. Its culture is an ancient culture still. It's still the same as it was for thousands of years. We live in the Gaelta. Irish is our first language and you will experience an ambience here that no place else in Ireland has. We met like all true uh, good Irish romances in a pub. It was love at first sight for me anyway. We have a good relationship with my dear Maria keeps me on my toes and I try to obey her. His first piece of jewellery that sold in 1981 was a piece of our personalised Ohm collection. Ohm is a fascinating part of history here. Most of the stones are in the southwest of Ireland, mostly in Kerry. Ohm is a very old language, but he was the first person that thought, oh, we should put this in a piece of jewellery. When we walked in the door, the first thing we see is this beautiful piece that you're wearing now. It's called Carig Dove, which means a black stone, and it's a black stone from the area. I discovered that it was uh, 188 million years old. And he kept working at it and working at it until he made it into a gemstone. I'm very happy with the shape I use at the moment. We call them Pillars of Carig Dove. And what does it say? It says grawl, <laughs> which means love. Ireland is famous for rain, but today the weather is gorgeous. So I'm walking from the Brian de Stack workshop to Dingle Distillery to speak with the master distiller. For me, one thing that's unique about Kerry is the weather <laughs> that we get. It's so refreshing. You know, we're standing here in, in lovely sunshine. Half an hour ago, we would have been soaked to the skin. <laughs> so I think you just, you just come to Kerry and embrace everything about it. Why should people visit Dingle? It is kind of unique. It's on the Dingle Peninsula, which you've driven along and you've realised that it's, you know, it's not a five minute journey from, from anywhere else in Ireland. So you get to see a, a bit of Ireland that, that uh, probably you would have experienced 20 or 30 years ago. When people have had the experience and they're telling other people about it, what do you hope they're saying? I just hope they, they remember the whole thing, you know, and, and by that, I don't mean just the tour of the distillery. Hopefully you take your experience of Dingle and Kerry away with you and, and that's got a little part in your heart that you, you hang on to. And you know, if you are going to choose a whiskey in the future, hopefully one of the times you choose is, is Dingle. Dingle Distillery has heart. You can taste it in the luscious spirits. A Dingle G&T is the perfect aperitif before dinner at the Bochard restaurant. I enjoy meeting people. I enjoy having a bit of fun with them having a laugh. Just the simplest little things, just opening a bottle of wine and asking them where they're from or are you enjoying the rain? That's all it is, it's just to make them feel welcome, make them feel at home. Just come in, have a laugh, enjoy some great food and get some great service. At the moment I've got a great team in the kitchen. Quality of the food, the preparation of the fish, top-notch chefs, top-notch staff. It's just quality of the product. Why would you come to the boat yard? atmosphere, a bit of fun. You can have the banter with the staff. They'll have a laugh back with you. There's a huge emphasis on local produce. Beer, fish, meat. We do hospitality well. The crack is always mighty with Gavin at the Bochard restaurant in Dingle, but I'm off to Tralee, one hour's drive to Cloda at Barrow Lodge. How old is the building? The majority of the house is 400 years old, which is uh, quite something. The first time we walked in there, Niall and I both got a feeling there was somebody there. Yeah, and when we came back out, I turned to him and I said, I think somebody was in there with us. And he said, I got the exact same feeling. It's actually a feeling of, oh, I've got a friend here with me. And it's lovely. I think we have a ghost, but a ghost kind of almost is the wrong mm -hmm. word to put on it. I think it's, I think we have a friend. We know we're very lucky to live this close to the sea and this close to Mother Nature is something special. To start my final day in Kerry, it was a golfing adventure, only minutes away at Tralee Golf Course, where I had the pleasure of meeting head professional David Power. 
How long have you been here? So I'm here 23 years, yeah. yeah. Growing up in London, I used to play a lot of football and then uh, all sports mad. And my dad got me into a little bit of pitch and putt and golf. And once I, once I started getting a taste for it, um, yeah, I just got really addicted to it. Give me one good reason why people should come and visit Trilly. But basically because we've got this world-class golf course, you've got so much to see. I mean, you've got the Wild Atlantic Way. You can go into the town and talk to a stranger in there inside in the bars. Everybody's friendly, they look after you. All the kids that grow up that are members here caddy. And so um, the great thing for them is that they're able to earn money towards their college from the visiting tourists and stuff, which is a great benefit. So yeah, it would be very much embedded in the community, yeah. We've got some amazing golf holes out there. Um, some of the names will give uh, a little bit of a clue to how tough they are. We have uh, Shipwreck, which is number 16. And really the golf course is just a blend of two different nines, but two amazingly sort of scenic nines. So one is a little flatter and one climbs up through the sand dunes and really different and wild. And I think then when you add the wind in, a proper challenge for everyone. The famous Rose of Tralee Festival has given me years of fun-filled escapades, but as the sun was declining this time, I visited Jamie Stevenson Hamilton and Colin Wong at Emerald Outdoors in Kinmare. That's where you go for a magical journey around historic Kinmare Bay. You might see a colony of curious seals if you choose a day tour, but I'm all for a nighttime visit to view mystical sparks of bioluminescence. Whichever you choose, you won't be disappointed with a unique guided tour from Emerald Outdoors. This was three days in the kingdom, but if you haven't been before, I advise you to spend a week or more in Kerry. Immerse yourself, have your party piece ready for the pub and enjoy a smile and a chat wherever you go. This place is magic. Welcome back to Great Reasons to Visit Ireland. Let's explore more of the province of Munster. It's time for my home county, Cork. On the way from the Kingdom of Kerry, I stopped on the stunning Beara Peninsula to talk to John Power from Beara Distillery. I'm the co-owner of Beara Distillery. We started making our Beara Ocean Gin back in 2017. The whole thing was that we wanted to create something that was reflective of the area first and foremost. The gin is actually a blend as well of several different distillers. One of them is seaweed, the second one is a fuchsia bud, and finally we infuse it with Atlantic salt water. Through my travels all over, all over Western Scotland and places like that, where you could see that there was, it was a very vibrant industry in very rural areas, I said like it would be a good fit for here. We uh, laid down whiskies uh, four years ago, bear uh, blend, it's a black cask blend we call it and the bear single malt and a single grain. There was never a distillery in the Bear Peninsula before, <laughs> even though back centuries and centuries ago there was a lucrative spirits industry <laughs> through smuggling of brandy and all this. When people tour the peninsula, they can see that this place is quite unique, so it's all, it all marries in together in that. To experience our products in the local bars is probably the best way to get it anyway. You get the atmosphere of the place and you get to meet the local people as well. Lots of people feel that the Beira Peninsula is a bit like a hidden gym, really. Unique things to see here, like the only cable car in Europe that goes across the sea into Dursey. Every corner you turn in the Ring of Beira, you have a different picture. We wanted to kind of have a reflection of the marine culture and our, our, our own marine background. And what we're achieving now is having premium products that are not crazily priced. We want people to say, oh yeah, I know that product. It's a good product. Beira to Kinsale is a two-hour drive. But you have to take your time when in soulful West Cork. Stop at Drumbagstone Circle to truly feel the call of ancient Ireland at the Druids' altar. Have a coffee in picturesque locations like Glandor or Ross Carberry. Try Clonakilty for a pint or to salute the big fella. Then it's on to Kitty O'Shea's in Kinsale. Kitty O'Shea's was envisioned with one purpose in mind, great crack. You'll find a warm and authentic atmosphere, delicious food and drink, and lively traditional music with a friendly mix of locals and international visitors. Conversations and pints flow in equal measure, or on a summer's evening, you'll be swept up in joyful dancing, musicians standing on countertops and everyone singing in chorus. There's something for everyone at Kitty O'Shea's. I'm from Kinsale, so Home Sweet Home has to include a visit to Mammy, that's Mary Colin at the Armada. 
for some traditional music, great pints and maybe a game of pool or darts. Ireland is a beautiful country to come to and the people are very friendly and the bars and the music and all, it's absolutely magical. They don't have anything like it in any other part of the world. And Sale is one of the oldest towns in Ireland and there is Charles Fort to visit, out to the old head of Kinsale where there's a magnificent golf course. So it's great things to do by day and to come back in and visit all the restaurants. And of course, as you know, Kinsale is known as the gourmet capital of Ireland because of all our lovely, magnificent restaurants. Where are you off to next? I'm going to go to the Cozy Cafe for breakfast in the morning. Oh, very nice, very nice. On a Wednesday morning from 8.30am, you can visit the market for great coffee and wonderful food or sustainable gifts. But it's Cozy Cafe for the best breakfast in town. I'm from Switzerland initially. I came here about 16 years ago and I fell in love with Kingsale. I always worked in a restaurant and hotel and uh, my previous job was in a cafe as well and I just loved the feeling and the vibe of the cafe and, and the, the way people meet up. I wanted to create a place where I could cook and create dishes with local products. We are very lucky that way as Kingsale is everything you need from the sea, from the land. So I, I'm changing the menu twice a year, once for the summer and one for the winter. So it's at the perfect spot for, That's right, for breakfast and lunch. If you can get the table. <laughs> <laughs> I've met uh, my wife here in Kingsale, so we have three children now, and we found that Kingsale was the ideal place to, to stay, create a family, and um, then open our own business. On a family day, I will go to Garrettstown, if it's a nice day, with the kids to the beach, or shopping in the city. In Switzerland, during Covid, a lot of restaurants use the old cable car to put outside their premises, so I thought I'll, I'll do the same and uh, my parents brought me over from Switzerland a cable car to, to use about the <laughs> How did they bring that? I am a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the sun all, all day because it's rising up there. It's going down that way. It's a place for everyone and everyone's place. There's plenty to keep you in County Cork, but do try to get to Munster's six counties. I decided on a two-hour drive to the house of Waterford Crystal. I'm working with Waterford just over 50 years. I began in 1972 and I spent most of my working life as a craftsman in the cutting department and now in sales. In 1947, after the war, two Czechoslovakians, a man called Charles Bacek and Miroslav Havel, they came to Ireland to help train Irish people into the craft of cutting and blowing. Uh, Miroslav Havel, the first thing he did when he got to Ireland was that he went to the National Museum, he looked at all the old drawings of Waterford Crystal and he started creating designs. His most famous design was the Lismore pattern. That's celebrating 70 years this year. And the pattern is based on Lismore Castle in County Waterford. To visit Waterford, uh, people should, sh I mean, keep in mind that it's the oldest city in Ireland. There's a building down the road that, that flies the, the Irish flag, which was the first building that they flew the flag from. You also have the Greenway. They call it the sunny southeast. Uh, one of the famous areas would be the Copper Coast. Uh, from Waterford onto Dungarvan. Beautiful scenery, but also Waterford Crystal being um, the famous crystal brand. Uh, you know, you can do the factory tour and on that you will see manufacturing at first hand and, and close up after the factory tour that obviously you'll turn into the showrooms. We probably have on display the biggest collection of water crystal that you find in the world. When they walk into the retail store, they're taken straight away by the uh, barkle of the crystal, you know. They find that it's a staff as well. It's an experience for them. It's like doing a tour of the museums. They get the benefit of actually seeing, seeing the product being made. And they have a more appreciation then of, of what they're buying. It is well worth spending a day in this fabulous city. And another must visit is Waterford Whiskey Distillery. My role here is, is the head brewer. In the last five years, we have converted the old Guinness Brewery into a working distillery. We do things a little different here. We source our barley from single farm batches. We're, our ethos is investigating flavor. We've looked at Arcadian series whiskies, which is looking at different methods of farming through organic farming, through biodynamic farming looking at old heritage varieties and seeing what flavours come from all these different types of farming. Mark Rainey, our CEO, came from the wine industry, so he, he's over 20 years experience in that side of the business. It exists in wine and nobody questions it. Why can't we investigate it for whiskey? Barley is a raw material, it grows all over Ireland and we did a scientific experiment um, with Chagas Research Centre in Ireland where we've proven the tarawar concept. So barley grown in this field versus barley grown in this field have 
different flavor compounds. You don't have to be a scientist, you just go up to the safe, taste each single different farm, and there's noticeable differences between each of them. So, yeah, it's mind blowing that way. We're in the process of producing the most profound single malt whiskey that you can get on the market. And the way we've laid down our single farms and the way we process our spirit, we will achieve that. Another two hour drive takes us to Limerick, but you really will find so many places that you want to visit along the way. I'd advise you to add in an extra night in County Tipperary for yourself. But for my short itinerary, we must make the last entry at 4 p.m. to the stunning King John's Castle, a Discover Limerick attraction and one of Europe's best preserved Norman castles. Evidence of earlier features indicate its pivotal role in Irish history before King John, dating back to the 9th century. Now it's a visitor centre with state-of-the-art touchscreen technology where visitors climb the turrets and absorb views that have witnessed 800 years of Irish history, dine in the Siege Cafe or shop for unique crafts and gifts. If, like me, you love a gorgeous memento of your travels, I have the perfect place to visit before you leave Limerick. Welcome to Silverwood Jewellery, a family-owned business trading since 1997. Their wonderful selection of hallmark silver and gold, Celtic, Clada and Wild Atlantic Way jewellery will connect you with heritage and home, as well as create precious memories. Browse eclectic collections of unusual handcrafted once-off treasures or consult with Basha, the master goldsmith, about magically turning your own jewellery dream into an exquisite, precious reality. Silverwood looks forward to your visit. It is only 20 minutes to the village of Adair, so in preparation for an early morning tea off at the golf course at Adair Manor, I am thrilled to be staying in this gorgeous location for the final night of our monster trip. It's only 80 minutes to the iconic Cliffs of Moher in County Clare, which I would thoroughly recommend. But for this trip, I chose an excellent morning on the golf course at Adair Manor. I was coming to the end of my week, but I had one more item on the County Limerick bucket list. A visit to the fabulous Margaret O'Shaughnessy at the infamous Foynes Flying Boat and Maritime Museum. I'm the director here at the Foynes Aviation and Maritime Museum and we're sitting in our lovely O'Regan's restaurant which way back in that time was where Irish coffee was invented in 1943. Foynes was famous because it was Ireland's first international airport. It goes way back a long time now to 1987. We saw that yeah there was no flying boat museum anywhere in the world. And you have so many that come because this flying boat, the Yankee Clipper, there's none of them in existence. And we built this replica and it's 100% perfect. Maureen O'Hara came on board and she became our patron and officially opened it on the 8th of July, 1989. It was the 50th anniversary of the first passenger crossings of the Atlantic. We're in the middle of four and a half million development now. We'll be able to do film festivals. We want to have this new Maureen O'Hara Museum, but you'll also have the facilities of, of a cinema. When Maureen did only The Lonely, we got the European premiere and we did it in the Savoy in Limerick. But John Candy was to come and John Candy had a football team and they were in a big league match and he couldn't come. But he sent me a big bag of autographed postcards photographs of him and various things and you never know who'll come in the door. Uh, you get to meet fantastic people. What's the most important thing for you personally? That it will continue to survive and grow and become world famous. Uh, and I think of the steward and I say, ladies and gentlemen, follow me. From Foynes, you can easily take a trip to the neighboring provinces of Leinster and Connacht. Join me next week for more great reasons to visit Ireland. <laughs>